Wedding videos for as low as 100,000 Naira? Gusto got you covered. Call 08061344639 or 08064406274. Terms and conditions apply. Hello guys, welcome to Gusto Reactions. Once again, thank you so much for always liking, sharing, subscribing, of course, telling your friends about what we do right here at Gusto TV. We love and appreciate you guys so, so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Big Lala is very much here today. And, uh, um, well, Big Lala, um, in December 2021, said, oh, I did not give him uh, a Christmas, uh, New Year gift and everything. But, of course, I know I did. He just didn't want to go for any of the concert. But, yeah, this is one gift that I'm giving Big Lala today. If at all I don't give Big Lala anything at all for this year, I am giving him the chance and opportunity of a lifetime for us to discuss something really really dear to him something that is very important to him something that he that you know that means you know so much to him of course we know lala is uh, one person who supports the street so much but he's got a favorite artist maybe maybe not but let's go we've got Liu cash up in the building today what do you think what do I think? You don't ask me any question. What do I think? That's <laughs> question you want to ask me about Lukash. Yeah. You, what do you think? What are you saying? I what don't am know I saying? I'm about. saying Lil Kesh is up in the building today. Of course, Lil Kesh, um, yeah, years ago had you know. That goes straight hits. to the point. What are you? What are you getting at? <laughs> what are you talk <laughs> your own? You are the guest here, and let me talk. Oh, I talk. Lil Kesh at some point, you know, uh, was talk of town, one of the biggest talent out there. Um, what happened to Lil Kesh? Well, I think what happens is what always happens to a lot of artists. Mm -hmm. um, not a lot of people can be consistent um, after having such a high moment uh, in the game. Mm -hmm. um, I think one of the reasons he, I would say, well, one of the reasons he fell off is uh, the structure he had before that. By the time he left that structure, he wasn't mm -hmm. able to continue. Uh, with it and then I think I don't know maybe for some other issues or, or study I think he mm -hmm. said at one point he went back to school or something mm -hmm. so I think those are the reasons why he fell off a bit and he didn't it, it's been hard for him to make a comeback so is Lil Kesh more like a lesson to artists who think oh once they become they get to a level they can leave a much more structured level to start something on their own well I read interestingly I read one quote on Twitter yesterday mm -hmm. the guy said now nah, nah the first to do one then they use do example mm. so you can see he's an example to a lot of all these younger cats and mm. he himself i think he sees himself as some sort of example like a role model to other people like mm. him who want to uh, make it in the game okay well so um leo Kesh currently you know in 2021 starting with a bang and all of that don't call me he's so you do major. agree he's a bang and he's a major <laughs> Big Lala, Go please ahead. hold on. Mm. I am the host here. Yeah, host, host, host <laughs> Lil Cash, um, featuring Gino Liski yeah. with this one, Don't Call Me, produced by Young John and Nip Keys. It's quite surprising how this song from 2021 has, you know, transcended Easy. into 2022 and yeah. it's a major, major hit at the moment, mm -hmm. topping the chart. You know, Apple Music Lagos, Apple Music Nigeria, everywhere, Lil Cash. And, you know, and a couple of tweets as well. People saying they love the song and everything. Uh, do you like the song? Why are you asking me again? Do I like the song? When I've been telling you that the song is a jam and you've been telling me it's, it's nonsense, now you're telling me it's, uh, it's back with the banger. Of course, I don't like the song. I love the song. Why would I love the song? Now only you get coconut head. Okay. Like this one. Well, Lil Kesh and Zeno Liski actually doing this one together. Don't call me. Mm. Um, is Lil Kesh really back to his best? Well, yeah, I would, I would say so, but I think there's a lot of uh, machinery behind the scenes that is making this a success that, that it is. Mm -hmm. And I think they themselves have realized that not be just about name alone, not be just about being known in the game. You have to put serious funds behind your music. Yeah. And a lot of these guys are now doing things the new way, like this. You have to always update yourself with how people promote music these days that make mm -hmm. songs uh, oh, everywhere, yeah. go viral and everything. That's exactly what they've done with this song. This song was released middle of December, mm. or thereabouts, it was released in December. Yeah. And I think they were watching the beat, I said that it wasn't moving, and they started pulling out the big box, uh, getting the right people to jump on the song. They went with dancers, went with uh, TikTok influencers and all those things. And here we are, and doing like late December to first week of January, 
this song wasn't on, on as much playlist on apple music mm. so that means they were driving enough traffic outside of the dsp itself yeah. that the dsp now got to notice now if you check the song you now see it on several yeah, other yeah, play and that's yeah. the, that's some of that's some of the ways where you can get the attention of these dsps mm. drive traffic to your content and you know, Lil Kesh was able to do that uh, with the use of influencers and yeah, yes. So is this more like easier to stay or you think this is a fluke? No, I don't think this is a fluke. Um, I think last year, I mean, we talked about two other songs he released that time, mm -hmm. which I felt were good songs. But this this is really good because this is the first time in a while, in a long while, that this Lucas is going to make um, the, the most streamed song on any DSP. Yes. And then he walked his way there gradually, gradually. You could see the rise. It was going up, going up. Until he got to number two, and I think he felt it, and then the noise just intensified, and every yeah. other person was just jumping on. And before you know it, it's the most streamed song in Lagos, yeah. the most streamed song on Apple Music in Nigeria, Nigeria at the yes. moment. On everything. And uh, you, you, how would you rate Zoliski's uh, influence on this song? You are the one that thinks this is solely based on the influence, which I don't think it is. I think it's a joint effort, and they both brought their A game to the to the game. But then again, without the main big box spent in promoting this song, mm. they are not. It's not getting to where it is. Whether it's you know this kid that is there or any other artist that is there. So you and think the song is not good enough to actually get there on its own? What are you saying? Which how many songs are good enough to get there down without some form of promotion? Everybody. I'm, just, I'm asking. No, I'm telling you. You should know what I'm saying already. Everybody knows what goes into promoting music and usually content has to be good content is good and you promote wisely you would always get a uh, desired result which is exactly what Lil Kesh and you know, this kid are getting okay so what do we have for uh a Lil Kesh and uh you know the music in 2022 is I mean this is a good start and everything are we going to have this kind of consistency this quality of song throughout the year 2022 I think the consistency uh, consistency for them has to be their I mean their pockets they have to consistently push money out to i mean promote this jam you know for the fact that when you feel it and you see that oh when people are feeling this jam you come out of pocket and this the carlo banks did it with Ozumba Ozumba, Badi. Yeah. when he fell down more it looks like i have a serious jam here he came out of pocket and started spending big to promote it and with even all the money did he touch number one on any years but at least people know about it yeah. and everybody knows oh, this is a solid jam sometimes it's not just about the song being solid you need to put it in people's faces so that's where the consistency has to come in uh, content, I think, would always be good from from Lil Kesh, and I think more of this would do him good in 2022. Okay, are you expecting that from him in 2022? Of course, I'm expecting that from him. I, it's been a while that someone who had left the scene had come back and now made a solid comeback. Like yeah. to, to, it's been a while. I mean, this is solid. This it's solid. Is solid. Yeah. It's solid. You, you you have to give it to him. Visualizer for the song itself is over 1.5 million views yeah. on YouTube in just a month, yeah. and you can see Lil Kesh is back for good. He's always been back since a long time ago. Since he made that first attempt back with the Naira Mali. Uh, Okpo? Uh, yes. Okpo and then some other ones that he dropped. Uh, Love uh, Like This. With yeah, Love Fireboy Like This. Yeah, yeah, that was from the album. Yeah, yeah, like, I mean, EP. Yeah. yeah, so I think he's he's been working hard. So this is the result of his hard so work. So what exactly is the issue with... Um, I mean, this song is really, really big. But the artist himself is not getting talked about enough. And that's that's where the their PR, their media and marketing the where if they have people who are that's where they need to start start putting uh Lucas's back in a few space. They've mm -hmm. already done it digitally. Mm -hmm. Because when this song came out, I mean I saw Lucas rejoins in this key, but I didn't pay attention. Yeah. But when they started promoting, you see different dancers. Uh the one that struck my, that struck me the most was uh, this comedian, Kata Efe and all these mm -hmm. uh Slim dancers, yeah. uh, Cloud Dipson, they yeah. jumped on it and they did a craziness. That was the first time it clicked in your head. I went, yeah. Okay, this is a little and you start listening and yeah. enjoying it. Then, um, I mean, that's digitally they've done that. Is not is he now going on radio stations to promote the song? Mm. Is he granting interviews? Is he jumping on all these pop culture shows and Danny TV? Mm -hmm. All this is he doing all that? Mm -hmm. He needs to be doing all that. I'm, Putting it out there that yeah. yes, I'm all, I have a song here. Obviously, you have to use a few hands to make yeah. sure that that means somebody has to be thinking right on yeah. the team to yeah, make sure that yeah. his face. I mean, it's even different from how we used to look before. Mm. Like they should now be releasing pictures. All this, all these normal things that are supposed to do for upcoming, they yeah. need to do it for. So you agree that the song is bigger than its brand right now? No, it's not. That's your thoughts. 
please share your thoughts with the team. Okay, let's have your thoughts. No, no, share what you what explain what you mean to them. No, I think I think I think the song is much more known than you know people knowing that it's a Lil Kesh song. So how do they word you? A Lil Kesh that if you mention Lil Kesh anywhere today, anybody knows. No, no, what but I'm saying is sit down, the song is that. more popular than the current brand that Lil Kesh has right no. now, the level of I, brand. If Lil Kesh was an upcoming artist, I would agree but with you. But you just agreed, but that you just was, agreed, hold on, you just agreed that he needs to do more show, he needs to put his face out there and everything. People know the song. And you think yeah. they don't know it's Lil Kesh? Okay. This song is very think, No, think about yes. it. They don't know it's Lil Kesh. Well, See the song. The song has more. They don't than know the is Lil Kesh. Okay. Yeah, let's have the cap. Oh, the for you. Uh, Lil Kesh, uh, you know, and that's no least key. With that one, don't call me. Let's have your thoughts. What do you think? Is it a hit or a miss? And is Lil Kesh really, really back for good on this one? Is this going to be the start of a great, you know, and uh, you know, amazing things for him in 2022? I just below. done the chill every day like you know, ice water. Both cruise every day. Or myself, top water. I'm Lil Kesh's manager. Nobody go buy your umbrella on a rainy day. Uh, <laughs> I put my phone on the.